I know my last video everybody was saying take it apart take it apart so let's take it apart <laughs> so taking all the screws out of the top and this plate will just uh, come off and oh look at that all kinds of stuff in there wow look it's like four adjustments there's a crystal on a little isolator and looks like there's a big ass transistor on the output wow very cool let me uh let me move in a bit this is this is fancier than i thought all right look at that wow all kinds of stuff is a there's a really nice uh ceramic capacitor here and so that little like uh, copper plug on the out outside that was definitely uh, a frequency adjust so you need to take that copper plug out somehow to get to this adjuster maybe they adjust it and they plug it up and you're never supposed to adjust it ever again um so i'm thinking that this uh crystal might be thermally controlled not quite sure it's on this little block here and it's just floating around it might just be temperature isolated maybe it just kind of warms up naturally I don't know if there's a heater on it or not but uh, definitely looks like a um, uh, an alumina PC board ceramic PC board looks like it's a uh, silver plated and looks like there's huh i don't know what all the adjustments are i really don't i have to see if i can find a schematic for this thing or something uh something like it uh i didn't measure the uh output power of this thing <laughs> i you know i didn't even notice it on my scope uh it was below 10 dB, plus 10 dB. So I guess I should have uh, should have measured it before I connected it up to the analyzer. That was pretty dumb, wasn't it? Yes, never do that. Never do what I just did. And she put an attenuator on it first. Uh, it didn't look that uh, didn't look that dangerous, but it could have been. Huh? I don't know. There's uh, some some goo over here. Looks like there's a capacitor between I don't know all kinds of strange things going on in there maybe it's time to put it under the microscope uh, yeah I think this is probably good enough hmm yeah very interesting I think there's something under there but I can't I can't see it it's uh kind of right right down there that black thing I don't know what that is um, Huh. There is some uh, some type of filtering or something in uh, on the PC board here or here. Yeah, pretty cool. Oh well, somebody knew what they were doing. Uh, let's see. There's a screw here that just holds on this big transistor, and there was two screws on the side here that just holds on the uh, holds on the crystal. And. I think it's just thermally isolated. I don't know if it has a heater or not. This is red wires, so the power comes in here, and there's a red wire that brings it over to the output, so you have power getting over there. And uh, there's another, another strange component, another black strange component down in there. Let me pop this thing out in the microscope and see if I can. Uh, I can see anything more I'll let you know okay too much cool stuff for you guys not to see this so I put the uh, camera over on the microscope so that big uh, the big thing there is just a three terminal regulator three terminal regulator so it takes that 15 volts and, and converts it to 12 so that's all that's going on there and uh, so 
let's see here. What can we do? Uh, this is the out. This is the output. All right. So the output goes to this tiny little coax, and the little coax goes down to the board and comes over. Comes over here. So I'm thinking. I'm thinking these capacitors and inductors are the output filter. So there's one, two, three. Yeah, that's that must be the output uh, the output filter, and so the oscillator must be over here somewhere. And of course, yeah, it's going to be right next to this, uh, right next to this capacitor. And that might be a little transistor down there. That might be that three terminal uh, uh, three SO SO uh, SOT twenty three uh, transistor down there might be it. Things pretty pretty hodgepodge. A lot of uh, Oh, there's another one too. That, so there might be two transistors here, like an oscillator and a drive. And um, yeah, that must be it. That must be the oscillator there, and that must be the drive transistor there. And then it goes through the filter to the capacitor and then at the uh, co coax, and then out. So that must be what's going on there. Um, and then the I know it's hard to see here under this magnification, but I believe uh, let's see where did I see it? Oh, over here. Uh, let's see here. I guess I don't know. There's like a. Uh, Things are upside down and backwards when I'm using the microscope here, so Let's see. Sorry about the camera work. So that little capacitor there with the goo on it is just a little tantalum on the uh, on the three terminal regulator. And then there's something underneath the oscillator. So I'm thinking that might be a heating element or, I mean, I'm not just quite sure. I'm not quite sure about the, about the crystal, whether it's heated or whether it's just isolated. I'm not quite sure. I did notice though that all of the, uh, all the adjustments have, uh, are filled up with epoxy. So you can't put a screwdriver in them anymore. So once it's adjusted, they ship it out and don't want you to touch it. Um, anyway, so there's all the, all the internal secrets. Um, like I said, it is a bit hodgepodge. It looks like it's not, looks like it's all handmade. I don't think this went through any wave saw or anything. It's all kind of, how did, how are you doing in there? Yeah, kind of strange stuff. But this is a multi-purpose board. I don't know if it's, everything's being used. It might be like some placeholders here for another SOT 23 there, maybe some capacitors there, I don't know. So maybe it's a multi-purpose board that they only loaded partly. So it looks like it's a capacitively out, capacitively coupled out, and then there's this filter, and then it comes over here to this driver, and then the oscillator back over, back down in, back down in there. And adjusted with this beautiful ceramic, uh, capacitor and uh, I don't see any writing on the uh, oh that's not the crystal that's the crystal holder so if the crystal has writing on it it's covered up by this clip and it looks like somebody put their name on the uh, put their name on the uh, thing here what's that say backwards 7w I guess I had it right the first time uh, let's see can I look oh here we go I tilt it over ah I can just barely get in there yeah the, uh, WMCQ WH70 I don't know Probably part number for the uh, for the PC board. Anyway, WH. Yeah. So I mean, the name of the company is uh, 
Oops. Upside down. The name of the company is Womanco. It's a, a model VS 0176.384 LP. Low pass? LP. Uh, local, I don't know, LP. I don't know. And a uh, serial number. Anyway, there you go.